Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to do the rear drum brakes on this uh, 1996 Chevy Tahoe. And this procedure is the same for many of these trucks. Um, this vehicle does have the heavy duty or 11 inch rear drums. And it's the same for Tahoe, Suburbans, and a lot of the 1500 and 2500 GMC and uh, Chevy trucks tools you'll need are jack and jack sands, 22 millimeter socket uh, with a breaker bar or your tire iron, penetrating oil, a large hammer, brake spring tools. If you don't have brake spring tools, I show you how to do it with a couple of vice grip or locking pliers, a flat blade screwdriver, and some white grease. Okay, you're going to start out by removing the wheel and tire. Uh, if you don't have the benefit of impact tools, you'll want to leave the tire on the ground first. Um, remove that cap. Uh, loosen the lug nuts and then raise and secure the vehicle and then remove the lug nuts the rest of the way and remove the wheel and tire. Okay, you're going to want to douse each wheel stud with penetrating oil and then right in between. Let that sit for a while. Turn 180 degrees and repeat and let it sit. Okay, so after letting it sit for a while, make sure you got your safety glasses on. Now to get your um, brakes apart. Now there are tools that are quote unquote correct for this and they do make it easier. Uh, what I generally do is I use a set of vice grips, something that a lot of people have in their toolboxes. You want to make sure you lock it onto these springs really well because you don't want to smash your elbows on the wheel well. Okay, so lock it on there. Pull that spring up and off. I just like to kind of put everything right on the leaf spring right behind it so I know where everything came off of. adjusting lever, pull it out and down. As long as that to come off. And next to this spring right here, I'm just going to grab onto the first coil. Okay, now you want to undo these. You can see you push them in and turn them, and then you want to hold uh, the back of the stud, which is right here. Okay, so this first one, I lock it on here so I have room to turn it. Okay, push it down. Here. Right. That comes 
off. Stud out. Now what you want to do, pull the shoes free. There's a bar in here. Take out. Okay. That right up there. Okay, you need a small screwdriver. Right here there's a little clip on a pin. Use your small screwdriver. Basically, just drive that clip off. Okay, and that pushes out. shoes come off and you can then take this part here just by allowing your shoes to come together okay. that allows your adjuster to come off take it off of the uh, spring there and your emergency brake lever And just speed it up here as I take and uh, separate that emergency brake lever as well as the adjuster. On your backing plates, you'll want to just clean off. You can see where the uh, the shoes kind of rub against the backing plates. I'm just going to use a wire brush, clean that up a little bit. Okay, so before you put your brakes back together, here's your adjuster, and you want to make sure it's nice and free, and you can see it's turning very easily, okay, but also this part here should turn independently. So I'm going to grab hold of the adjuster wheel, okay, and use my screwdriver, and I'm going to need a new adjuster. Okay, so most of the hardware is in rough shape, so I'm using a new adjuster. Um, I've put some lubricant on the threads, but I'll keep that all the way closed. And I've also put some lubricant right on that there, so that will all spin nicely. Your rear shoe is the one with the lining, the total length. Okay, so you want to put your um, adjuster, the star side of the adjuster, on the rear shoe. Okay, and then you put your uh, spring like that okay take your front shoe okay now take your front shoe put on the spring okay flip on the spring and flip them together the adjuster right in there between. Okay, on the back side of my shoes I put a little bit of grease okay in the little slots there also some grease on the top nub there. Okay, so I'll just take my shoes and kind of put them into place like that. Okay, now what you can do is lift your front shoe up and take your pin, guide it in from the back, and through, and then take this, Let's see, put it on, you put the smaller spring in the front, okay, that holds that on. Okay, now you can take your emergency brake lever, put it up in here behind. Okay. okay, put the little spring washer on the back side and put it through. Okay, and then put a little 
walking clip place screwdriver push it on okay now this okay goes right down in here kind of feed it in a little bit sideways okay new lever and put that all through okay this goes Through the back, make sure it's still pushed through. your uh, make sure the plungers are in the brake pads correctly there Oops. okay put this on okay, get this on here what you want to make sure is that you have the hook, this part of the hook kind of in towards there. So basically twist it just a little bit like that. Grab on. Okay, now we want to put this on. Okay, so take our arm, kind of pry it out. Put that on there like that. Okay, push that down. Okay, grab on nice and tight with your vice grips. this spring in here. So if I need to lift it up on there. And it just kind of pushes in with a screwdriver like that. Plus two springs. That one in there. Make sure that your plungers are in the brakes, seated in the brakes correctly. I'm actually going to do this one first. Oops. On there. Okay. Lock on nice and tight with the vice grips. That one's on. Okay, again, lock onto it. Good and tight. Make sure our uh, separator bar for the emergency brake is in there correctly. Okay. As you pull on it, the shoe will pull in. Okay. So now your brakes are all together. around, let them get into place. Make sure this is all good. 
Okay, new drum. Okay, first it's going to go right on. What you can do is take your adjuster, pull this bar out, and then run your adjuster out some. Okay, and try the drum again. Still goes on pretty easy. goes on a little bit of drag so that's good. Just gonna clean all of my old hardware off back here. For your best initial adjustment, come back in here. There's a plug here. Okay, take a brake spoon. tighter. Basically keep adjusting them. Good amount of drag. Back, back off a little bit. Okay, a little bit of penetrating oil. Uh, stuff that rubber plug in. Use a screwdriver to get it started, and then I just use the butt end of it to bang it in there. Okay, then put your wheel back on. Start your lug nuts by hand. Um, you can kind of preliminarily tighten them up before you let the vehicle down. Then let the vehicle down on the ground, torque the lug nuts to 110 foot-pounds. Be sure to do a couple of test stops at slow speeds before you road test your vehicle. Make sure everything's working properly. Um, and make sure to back up and apply your brakes a bunch of times. Uh, give those automatic adjusters a chance to um, do a final adjustment. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.